Hey, welcome to Level Pixel Level. Today, I want to give you a general overview of rigging nodes in Blender. Rigging nodes is an add-on that allows you to create rigs by connecting nodes in Blender. The add-on was created by Aquatic Nightmare, and I've left a link in the description if you want to download it and try it out. And feel free to send a Aquatic Nightmare a big thank you on the Blender Artist thread. It's a pretty cool add-on, it's free to use, and it really expands rigging in Blender. This video is just going to be an overview of the nodes, and I'll be following up with four tutorial videos that go in-depth with step-by-step -step instructions on how to use them. So if you're looking for that, those will be coming up later. Rigging nodes are similar to geometry nodes or material nodes in Blender. You add nodes, you work left to right, and then you see the results in the 3D view. One of the big difference with rigging nodes though is the display option, and it's more like a preview, so you're almost previewing through your node network. That's a little different than material nodes or geometry nodes, where you sort of have a defined output all the time. Rigging nodes allow you to calculate at any point in the node network. This feels a lot more similar to Houdini node system or Unreal Blueprints, where you're sort of setting a display flag along your node network. Rigging nodes is a one-way calculation, meaning what you do in the node network feeds the 3D view, but it does not go back the other way, except for a few key nodes. I tend to compare it to visual scripting, and that's what it feels like as I'm working with it. It's no different than writing a script to build a rig, hitting play, and then seeing the results. The 3D view does not affect what happens in the script editor, and the node network feels like this as you're building it. It's a one-way street from the node network into the uh, 3D view. There is also a development build that Aquatic Nightmare has created, and it has a scripting node, and this allows you to add custom scripts into your network. And honestly, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I, I wish they would incorporate this into material nodes and even uh, geometry nodes, I think it would really expand the node network. It's the closest thing to Vex from Houdini that I've seen in Blender. It almost feels like every node network in Blender should have this node. It really opens up the possibilities as to what you can do with the system. So rigging nodes, as I mentioned, do not have a direct connection to the 3D view, meaning that stuff in the 3D view does not talk to the node network. If you're coming from Maya and you're used to a connection editor, this is not a connection editor. This is not a live connection to what's in 3D view. Uh, it's more like visual scripting, where you're laying out your script, you're hitting play and seeing what happens. It kind of relates to Houdini in that way too. There are certain things you can do in Houdini where things you do in 3D view will feed back into the node network, uh, but it's just not the same as that. So if you're looking for a direct connection editor, this is not a solution for that. So should you use rigging nodes in your projects? If you are working on a simple project with one character, or a couple of props, then no, I don't think you should use rigging nodes. But if you're working on a project with 10 or 20 characters, you want them to all have similar rig mechanics and setups, then rigging nodes might be the way to go. It's more about building rigs and having the ability to duplicate the build over different objects. This is a great tool for production. So if you have 20 or 30 characters and you wanna have the same naming, the same mechanics, the same control shapes, this is a way that you can quickly set up new rigs and unify the structures across a project. If you're trying to learn rigging in Blender, it might not be the best place to start. It's probably better just to learn the manual tools first and get used to what's happening in the 3D view and get used to all the terms. Once you're familiar with the functions, options, constraints, and settings, rigging nodes will become more valuable and more intuitive. I don't see rigging nodes as something that's going to replace traditional rigging in Blender. It's something to add on, uh, sort of like geometry nodes. Geometry nodes doesn't replace modeling. It's just another tool uh, in your tool set to help you finish tasks. For me, I've worked on a couple of films and TV shows in Blender just using the old manual system, and rigging nodes is probably the most interesting thing that's happened to Blender since Bendy Bones uh, for rigging. I hope one day this add-on is in the main build or becomes a part of the software or they feed it into the Everything Nodes development branch. All right, so that's my general overview of rigging nodes. I'll be releasing some more videos over the next week that are step-by-step -step tutorials on how to use these nodes. Big thank you to my patrons for helping me out with this one. Uh, it's because of them that I can continue to make these videos. Let me know if you have any questions as you go through the tutorials, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.